hi and welcome to another gaming video and in today's video I want to talk about the 3D feature on the Nintendo 3DS. The DS and the DSi were massive selling devices and Nintendo needed something huge to tempt those DS and DSi owners over to the new system. Despite the fact that the 3DS was I would class as a new console because there were games released for it that you couldn't play on the older systems there were still a lot of holdouts on the DS and the DSi because it was such a massive success. So the clue is in the name. Uh, when Nintendo released the 3DS uh, it came with this rather unique, rather exciting 3D option and it was 3D option that you didn't need glasses for. It's called Stereoscopic 3D. You've got a little slider on the side of your Nintendo 3DS screen which magically turned your screen into 3D and it's a great feature. It is not a gimmick. While it didn't work as fantastically as it should, you simply had to sort of just twist your 3DS and you would lose all 3D function and it would give you some kind of headache inducing screen. It did work and I thought it was fantastic. There are a number of games uh, such as Super Mario 3D Land which really took advantage of the 3D and if you played it on a 3DS with the 3D on, it just, the game absolutely shone. It, it, it's one of those games that you really do need to play in 3D. And when Nintendo released the new 3DS, they seriously improved the 3D function. Uh, it's got a, a, what they call a face tracking system, so you can tilt the console uh, a lot more without losing 3D. And it's great. I used it a lot on my original 3DS and now I use it a lot on my new 3DS XL and I really do think that the, the 3D function adds just an, an extra layer of fun to the games and some games really do shine with it. That's not to say that it's essential. Um, we know it's not essential because they brought out the 2DS range like the original 2DS and the new 2DS XL for those that really had no interest in the 3D and I went from an original 3DS, which I barely used the 3D function on, so I, I thought to myself, don't really need it, and picked up a new 2DS XL. Great console, not awesome build quality, uh, but I loved the XL screens, but I missed the 3D function. And when I purchased it, I didn't think I would, but I started playing some games, and Super Mario 3D Land was one of them. And I missed that 3D function, so I went and bought a new 3DS XL. Best of both worlds, 3D functionality and large screens, and it's superb. And yes, the face tracking on the new 3DS range is a lot better. I play most of my games in 3D, and I love it. So, is the 3D function on an, a 3DS a gimmick? It's not a gimmick. It was a unique selling point, a way of pulling people away from the DS range. So if you've got a 3DS, let me know if you use the 3D function or did you just go with a 2DS because you thought, I don't need the 3D function. Obviously the 2DS was aimed at children because the 3D function isn't suitable for anyone under the age of seven. So let me know what you think. Did you use the 3D? Do you like the 3D function or do you play it with the 3D off or do you own a 2DS which has no 3D functionality? Link, like, subscribe, enjoy.